Now we are entering into the first unit, Power Semiconductor Devices. So Power Semiconductor Devices may be low power diode and higher power diode. The low power diode which is also called as signal diode, higher power diode which is also called as power diode. So power diodes play a significant role in power electronics for conversion of electrical power. Some diode circuits that are commonly used in power electronics for power processing. A diode acts as a switch to perform various functions such as switches in rectifiers, freewheeling in switching regulators, charge reversal of capacitor and energy transfer between components, voltage isolation, energy feedback from the load to the power source and the recovery of trapped energy etc. So power diodes can be assumed as ideal switches for most applications but practical diodes differ from the ideal characteristics of from the ideal characteristics and have certain limitations so the power diodes are similar to pn junction signal diodes however the voltage current and the power ratings of power diodes and transistors are much higher than the corresponding ratings of signal devices the power devices, the power diodes operate at lowest switching speeds whereas signal diodes that is low power diodes and transistors operate at higher switching speeds. Generally we can classify the power semiconductor devices into three types. One is power diodes, second one transistors and third one thyristors. We can see one by one. First one is power diode. So this is the power diode which has two terminals anode and cathode. So consider this this is diode and this is anode and this is cathode. Now I am going to connect a battery. So the positive terminal is connected to the anode and the negative terminal is connected to the cathode. So now it is in the forward biased condition. If the anode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, it is called forward biased condition. So in this forward biased condition, there will be a small voltage drop across the device. So there will be a small voltage drop which is called as forward voltage drop. Okay. We can see another uh, case also. Consider this is the diode. Now we are going to connect the negative terminal of the battery with the anode and the positive terminal of the battery with the cathode. So now this is called reverse biased condition. So at this reverse biased condition there will be a small leakage current. Okay. So there will be no current flow but a small leakage current will flow. So we can see the characteristics of the power diode. Generally Two characteristics we can see. First one is uh, ampere volt characteristics or VA characteristics. Next one turn off characteristics or reverse recovery characteristics. We can see one by one. First one is ampere volt characteristics or VA characteristics. So why it is called uh, ampere volt or VA characteristics? The characteristics the characteristic curve which is drawn between the voltage and current. Here the voltage is anode voltage and anode current. So here we have two condition, two conditions, uh, forward biased condition and the reversed biased condition. As I said already, in the forward biased condition, 
there will be forward voltage drop by set right so uh, when we give the anode voltage that is in the under the forward biased condition so under the forward biased condition the circuit is like this okay so now we are going to give the anode voltage so till this voltage this till this voltage the current is very low but when this voltage is reached then the current anode current starts increasing so this voltage is called cutting voltage this voltage is called cutting voltage so this cutting voltage may be 0.7 volt for signal diode or low power diode 1 volt for power diode okay what does it mean at when the anode voltage is 0.7 volt the current anode current starts increasing if it is a power diode if the anode if the anode voltage is 1 volt at that instant the anode current starts increasing okay so this is under forward biased condition so this is the forward conduction drop which occurs across this diode second condition is reverse biased condition so under this condition as i said already so the connection is like this okay so the uh, the anode is connected to the negative and cathode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery that is reverse biased condition so under this condition uh, this uh, diode is not a forward biased condition so there will be no current flow but there will be a small leakage current flows okay there will be small leakage current but when the avalanche breakdown occurs from that moment the anode current starts increasing in the in the reverse direction okay so this is the anode current in the reverse direction this is positive anode current this is negative anode current so after the after the avalanche breakdown the current starts in starts increasing in the reverse direction so this is the va characteristics of power diode next one is tan of characteristics or reverse recovery characteristics so what is it so after the forward by forward diode comes to null position okay null position the diode continues to conduct in the opposite direction because of the presence of stored charges in the depletion layer and the p or n layer the diode current flows for a reverse recovery time that is trr so this time this period is called trr so it is the time between the instant forward forward diode current becomes zero and the instant reverse recovery current decays to 25 percentage of its reverse maximum value that is irm reverse maximum value okay so this period is called as uh, reverse recovery time or TRR. Here the TRR is divided into two parts. One is TA and another one is TB. At this time TA charges stored in the depletion layer is removed. At this time TB charges from the semiconductor layer is removed. So this uh, shaded area represents the stored charges which must be removed during reverse recovery time TRR. So this is the uh, variation of forward voltage drop. Okay. So this is the variation of forward current and this is the variation of forward voltage drop and this is the variation of 
power loss. So power is equal to V into I. We know that. So here we can write the power is equal to Vf into If. Okay. So we have to multiply these two. Then you will get this power. So here the current is uh, positive and the voltage is also positive. So the power is positive. Here current is positive, voltage is positive, power is positive. Here the current is negative, voltage is positive. So positive and uh, negative. So negative. The power is negative here. Then here the current is negative and the voltage is also negative. So uh, minus into minus plus. So the power uh, becomes positive here. Okay. So major power loss. Okay. Major power loss in the diode occurs during the period Tb. Okay. So under this period, under this period Tb, there is a maximum power loss. So next we can uh, see two um, types of operation. That is the recovery, the reverse recovery can be abrupt okay abrupt recovery or soft recovery or smooth recovery so to uh, know about the uh, uh, type of recovery uh, we can use the s factor which is softness factor so the softness factor is the ratio between tb and ta so softness factor is denoted as s which is equal to tb by TA, the ratio between TB and TA. So the S factor okay, uh, is a measure of the voltage transient that occurs during the time the diode recovers. If the S factor is equal to 1, okay, if S equal to 1, then what does it mean? Low oscillatory reverse recovery process. That means soft recovery diode it is. Okay, if the S factor is less than 1, what does it mean? Large oscillatory over voltage, that is the type of diode is snappy recovery diode or fast recovery diode. Okay, fast recovery diode. So next we can see the applications of power diode. So it can be used in the uh, rectifier diodes. Then for uh, voltage clamping. And it is also used as a voltage multiplier. And acts as a freewheeling free, free diode. Okay. So then there are types of, there are types. Okay. In the power diodes there are types. Generally, we, uh, there are three types. Okay, first type is Skonky diode. So these diodes are used where a low forward voltage drop, generally 0 0.3 volt, is needed in low output voltage circuits. So these diodes are limited in their blocking voltages, voltage capabilities uh, from 50 to 100 volt. Next one is fast recovery diodes. So these are almost used in high frequency circuits in combination with controllable switches. Okay. So as the name indicates, um, so the re recovery rate is very fast. That is the time uh, needed to needed for the recovery is very less. So it is in the range of 5 microseconds. Okay. At power levels of several hundred volts, and several hundred amperes, these diodes have TRR ratings, that is the reverse recovery ratings of less than few microseconds. Okay, that is, that's why it is called as fast recovery diodes. Next type is line frequency diodes or general purpose diodes. So, the on state voltage of these diodes is designed to be as low as possible and as a consequence have large TRR that is a reverse recovery time which are acceptable for line frequency applications. These diodes are available with blocking voltage ratings of several kilo volts and current ratings of several kilo amperes. 
okay so moreover they can be connected in series and parallel to satisfy any voltage and current requirement so this type of uh, diodes are used for battery charging ups etc thank you